Welcome back everyone to the Tower 14. So I literally just lost the um video and we upgraded our last wall and we just did a trap. So that's just just to let you know. So literally just lost the footage on, on that one sadly. So yeah, that's where that's the position we are in. Um let us start to plan our attack. And there just went over all of this. So um I had to Sad the or the video was deleted. So let's get into this this plan, guys. Let's get into this plan. So the army that we're going to be using is going to be a super. It's going to be a mini Yeti smash to to be said. Um, something different. Just trying a different style smash army. Um, to to show you guys that still smash armies can still work. Besides either the super ball smash or even the super wit smash which i want to try at 14 um it's going to be a little bit different for sure so what we're going to do on um, doing on this base is i'm going to be using using my ground wall over here to get to the multi i'm not going to use the flame flame down here because then there is the multi mortar and then the other more and then the mortar mortar on the other side as well as the ground ball so i may not get as much value over here the only value I'm probably going to be getting going to be these four buildings and then it's gonna be done because everything else here can target my flame flinger. So the warden will be over here, which is gonna make it a little easier for me. And then I'm using the flame flinger up to the top of the base to get the bomb tower, the wizard tower, the archer tower, the multi, even closer getting the tiny and the eagle. So I may drop the flame flinger somewhere up top here. Here I say maybe I may just drop it over here and let it work its way through um as well so maybe, maybe somewhere around here i think that's going to work pretty nice for me and then i'm going to drop in the first wall break because i only have one the one wall break will go here and then i will be jumping into this compartment over here and then jumping over on the back and depending on where they all go because then i may even need to drop the jump over here depending like i said depends depends on where the troops path to it always depends on the path too. So I'm going to try to keep them together as close as possible. Like you always want to do with any smash armies. Any armies you're using with healers to, to push into the base. You want to keep everything fine knit together. So your spells are used a little bit more efficiently. And I've, and all the troops get all the spells. So that as always. And the healers do help out a lot with, with smash armies. Um, so if that's sudden then you guys see the base, see the army. Like what I was going to do. Let's crush it. And I'm running um, super minions in the CC as well instead of hogs. Because I know we're pushing directly into the queen. So that's why I want to run the super minions instead of hogs. You can use, you can really run anything with, with this star army to be fair. Um, I've seen dragons, dragon raiders. Dragon raiders work pretty okay. So we're going to let the flame flame work. There not. I do have sneaky goblins that I can use. But I'm going to let the warden do its thing. Main thing, you always want to have the Warden walk first and then the Flame Flinger because the Flame Flinger does a little bit more damage than the Warden and the Warden takes a little bit more longer to set the funnel. Um, I do want this multi though, so I'm going to let the Ground Warden work a little longer. If I need to invest a Rage spell, I will write Invest a Rage spell um, to him as well. And I may have to do that because he is going into one of the multi-target Inferno Towers as well as the Ground Bow. Everything is still working through pretty nicely. So I'm going to let the Warden... Warden's going to tag a bow. Um, might as well. Might as well see if he can keep working on that bow. Flame Fling is working pretty nicely through. I'm going to drop an archer on the back end. And I'm going to drop my king to help tag that... Um, what's it called? The mortar because I didn't want the mortar to actually tag my, my troops basically. I don't, I don't want I didn't want it to tag the my, my Flame Flinger. That's basically why I started the push now. So I'm going to let everything work through. I'm going to drop the freeze there. I'm going to drop the jump on the back end now. I'm going to pop the king's ability. And I will pop the ground runner's ability. Because the warden was getting a little more damage. Than he was supposed to. To, to be fair. Um, everything is still working through pretty nicely. King is still working through. I will freeze the town hall there. Um, queen is on the outside. So that's not great. That's not peachy. I'm going to drop the RC over on the bottom side where we dropped our Ground Warden. Um, because that's basically just to keep everything together defensive wise. Yetis are still working through. The King is still working through. Queen on the outside, which sucks 100%. But 
that the queen is just doing queen things. Queen is just walking. Um, everything is still working through nicely though. But with the RC on the on the, this side, oh, this is not going well now. The ground warden walk. The queen walked, which was dumb. I don't know why the queen walked. Um, RC's ability there now, but the yeah, this is gonna fail. This is gonna fail. This sucks. I know everything. Why did the queen walk? I'm. Why did the queen walk? Queen walked really killed this this attack. Yeah, queen walking killed this attack. Not gonna lie, because everything was together. I don't know why the queen walked. I'm not. I'm not sat there. Just don't know why the queen walked on that one. So eighty nine percent. This this felt good, but it still felt horrible at the same time. To be to be fair, but it happens. It happens. It it probably could have worked a little bit better, but. Um, stuck walking, especially the queen. The only way the queen walked, if she stayed in the middle, would have been a little better. But she ended up walking, and that killed the the entire attack. So that sucks. But hey, it happens. It happens. Some plans, some plans seem really good in the head, and on paper, it doesn't doesn't um hundred percent work out. But as of me, guys, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time.